a specific series of events led me to this situation. Let me explain. My idea was to learn a bunch of skills from easy to really hard ones. But somebody miscalculated and I ended up throwing myself into the hardest challenge of my life. Let's go back to the beginning. Level 5 is the umbrella trick. The easiest one of the list, but it's basically the coolest way possible to open an umbrella. It took me 6 minutes of practice in this rainy day, and then I got it. <laughs> yeah. Level 10, backhand aerial with a butterfly knife. It basically consists in throwing the knife, making it spin in the air, and then catch it. All without cutting your fingers. Ah! I'm joking, it's a, it's a trainer knife. And let's say I'm really happy it's a trainer knife. But even if I highly recommend you to do this far away from living beings, after throwing my knife around for a while, I actually got it. Next, a scooter trick called Magnet. I kind of have a bad feeling about this, probably because of bad memories. All right, let's do it. It's been a while since I used a scooter, as you can see. So first, I decided to try the bunny hop a few times. A bunny hop is basically jumping, and it's fundamental to get the magnet. All right, to do the magnet, I should jump without the scooter, and then bring the scooter under my feet. And so, I literally threw myself into it. That was scary. Attempting this trick made me feel uncomfortable every single time. Oh my god, that was so scary. Oh my god, all right. But then, it kind of just clicked. Oh my god, that wasn't bad. And after 10 minutes of practice, I got it. Yes! All right, next one. Level 25, breaking an egg with one hand. I won't even explain how to break an egg. I mean, everybody knows that. Now, breaking an egg with one hand should be even harder. But after checking a few tutorials, I decided to try it anyways. I am super confident I'm gonna make it. And I don't know how, but I actually got it easy. <laughs> oh my god. My grandfather was finally proud, but it was just the beginning. There were insane skills coming up next, and the next one was gonna be level 35. Computers are one of the greatest inventions of mankind, so I'm gonna try to spin it. But before losing thousands of dollars and valuable information, I decided to practice with a pillow first. And it didn't work at all. I am extremely bad. I couldn't even keep the rotation going for more than two seconds. So I logically felt confident to try with my precious laptop. And this was just level 35. Way harder than expected. But I'm not giving up. This has been scary and painful. <laughs> the laptop kept falling over and over and it gave me chills every single time. Oh my god. It was just a matter of time before I actually ended up breaking it. So I knew I had to get better fast. I was completely stuck at level 35. After two hours, my brain was melting and my finger was insulting me. I had to stop for a while. Then I tried outside for some reason and that's when I felt something. It was improvement. Oh my god, that was so close! And I thought I understood how to get it. I believe the key could actually be keeping your finger straight. That's it. But that wasn't it. And even if by doing so, I actually got some sweet improvement, I felt like I was still far from actually learning this one. My new goal was spinning the laptop for at least 15 seconds. And to do so, I had no choice but learning to control the rotation and increasing the speed. Laptop or any other object, it was personal at this point. I had to get this. Trying and failing, changing strategy, getting better, and then failing once again. And then feeling absolutely great for even the smallest improvement. This is why I love to learn stuff. Yes go means if you keep trying and enjoying the journey, you can do anything you want. 13, 14, 15. And so after two days, I had it. And even if I was unbelievably proud of this one, I still had the seven hardest skills left. So next, I had to try a combination of three baseball bat tricks and jump in the rope three times in one single jump. Yes, go! Level 7. Breaking bricks with bare hands. I literally have no idea how hard this is. But I tried anyway. Well, it was pretty hard. Alright, come on, we can do this. I kept trying, but the brick was too powerful. Was I hitting the brick, or was the brick hitting me? I wasn't sure. I'm literally trying as hard as I can, but this thing is thick. I kept punching <laughs> the brick for 15 minutes, and then I couldn't take it anymore. We're gonna get back to this later. Let's try something else. I need to rest my hand. Level 75, spinning high kick. I already know how to high kick and side kick, kind of. But a spinning high kick is a different story. It's hard, really hard, unless you're this man, and I'm not. The goal is to kick above 
above my head. Meaning that leaf. I made sure to stretch a few minutes to avoid losing my leg. I think I'm stuck. And then I started practicing. My technique is bad, guys, but it's not the point. The point was reaching the goal. The key to spin high kick is rotating hips and stepping foot. And I was doing all that. I felt really confident. I was improving. Oh, I'm so and then I hurt myself. This one hit my moral and my groin. But I really didn't want to fail after the breaks. I couldn't fail. And even if it's been really painful, I was somehow getting closer. I kept trying over and over. Oh my god, that was close! And then this happened. Oh yes! I got it! Yes! I had four levels left, the hardest ones. Level 80, the muscle up. Trying the muscle up was a bad decision. I literally never tried it in my life and I had no idea what I was doing. But then, after practicing for a while, I realized something. Even if I was getting tired, I maybe I had a solution. I think I got it. My hands kept slipping. It's the solution. So it was there, hanging with tissues on my palms. And I mean, using tissues was supposed to be a joke. But then, I tried. And somehow, with a terrible technique, yes! Yes! it actually worked. Yes! That was yes. so unexpected, guys. I cannot describe how happy I was after that. But next there was the level 9, DNA with the yo-yo. This one is super cool. I saw it on TikTok. And even for the DNA, everybody's saying that this one is pretty hard. It's a really hard, difficult trick. But I didn't believe them. And after randomly trying for a few minutes, absolutely nothing happened. It's actually hard. That's literally impossible. The first step to get the DNA is turning the yo-yo horizontally and making it spin on the index finger. Easier said than done. I kept trying over and over for three hours and nothing happened. I thought underestimated this one again and at this point i had dna bricks and level 100 left I had to find a way to get this one no matter what I bought a new yo-yo this should be specifically designed to achieve the dna hopefully i actually bought a bunch of them and i don't need them so i'm gonna give them away to a random subscriber follow me on instagram to find out if you want the new yo-yo was actually working i mean it still took me ages and immense frustration to improve ah. but after 30 minutes i kind of got the first half of the trick there was only one step left let the string slowly wind around the yo-yo i knew it was close and I, I just wanted to get it the level 90 took me 10 hours of practice and 10 liters of water. But then it actually started to work. I wanted to scream, but there was a person there. And just a few minutes later, I got it. <laughs> I was insanely happy. But the worst part was yet to come. So I tried to break my hand against the bricks yeah. once again. Maybe these are just excuses, but I saw a bunch of people trying and their bricks are literally half of this one. That is not helping my moral. But after a while, maybe because I hit the brick probably 20 times before this one, this happened. <laughs> Yes, go! We were almost there. There was only one level left. The hardest one. Skateboarding is probably the hardest skill I've ever tried. It took me three painful days to get the kickflip. And now, I wanted to try the next level of that. Level 100. Last skill. Varial kickflip. A varial kickflip is kind of like a kickflip, but the board spins in both directions. I was melting under the sun, but I was extremely motivated. And I kept getting close. Really close. No! 20 minutes went by, then a little break, and then I tried for another 10 minutes. I'm destroying these shoes. I was sure I was gonna get it, and I consistently refused to give up. But at this point, I was literally about to pass out. Ah, I can't move my legs anymore. I basically couldn't walk, but I wasn't happy. Ah! I decided to randomly try in a gas station while driving back home. I wasn't even hoping to get it, but I had to try it. And I landed it. Three times. Falling off the board, every single one of them. I spent the next day limping. I'm not sure if you're more damaged mentally or physically. But yeah, I'm doing nothing today. Fast forward another day, and I was ready for one last try. It was weird and frustrating and exciting at the same time. I knew I was close, but I also knew that at every attempt, I was burning my legs out. But the only thing I could do, as always, was keep trying. I kept getting so close, I thought Destiny was joking with me. But this time, after sweating a few liters and getting tired, once again, this happened. Yes, go! Yes! Yes!